Hmm. Really gotta freshen up this desk. Move in, boys. What is going on? Fresh desk coming right up. So this is an interesting approach from Ionix to freshen up your desk. I like it. Let's check it out right after this. The NZXT Hue Plus Lighting Control Hub is now available in the white frame to complement the white NZXT Manta case or other white theme builds for best hardware color coordination with enough extensions included and is used to control the four very bright RGB LED strips or the Air RGB fans all through the Hue Plus Hub. Check it out in the description below. All right, so this idea of introducing color through your peripherals to spice up your setup is not exactly new. We've seen many gaming peripherals and standard keyboard and mice come with different color options, but Bionics is approaching it from a different perspective that all revolves around their one key launch product, their new keyboard, The Way. The price point is a little bit expensive at $159. There are many other minimalist options available in the market right now, but they're targeting this for gamers and also artists, so they're kind of moving themselves away from that whole gamery appeal so there's zero gaming aesthetics on this keyboard it's very minimal i love the gray accent on the keycaps and the body there's absolutely no bulk surrounding the frame so it is what it is they do not even include secondary characters on your numbers row so you have to kind of remember where the dollar sign is where the plus sign the equal sign all that stuff is but i do appreciate the built-in uh, media controls right on the top right corner along with the uh, led control which is right beside there even their branding is limited, so there's a single logo on the main front plate on the bottom right, and there's also a logo surrounded by this yellow rubber on the left side. The keyboard cannot be raised or angled, so it is what it is. There's this single large piece of rubber at the bottom, so the keyboard has very good stability alongside that Myonix logo, but I wish that we could have lifted the keyboard slightly because uh, it is pretty flat. The keyboard feels solid. There is an aluminum plate at the top, so despite it being so thin, there is almost no flex. And finally, the cable that is exiting the keyboard has this bit of coil. Not exactly sure why that is. Design-wise, it looks kind of cool, but functionally, it doesn't really work because the coil is very tight. So if you have to stretch it, you have to somewhat lock the cable somewhere in order to, you know, achieve the stretch. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless. Now, this is a mechanical keyboard. And initially on their Amazon page, it said that it was a cherry silent RGB red switch. Uh, that can be misleading because it's not a silent switch. It's an MX red switch. So after that, after my conversation, they did clarify exactly what it is on the Amazon page. So there is no longer confusion. This is MX Reds and not the silent switch. Now the software is pretty basic, so you can do color customization per key or selecting multiple uh, by holding control. Uh, the effects are nice, but uh, quite limited, not as many as we see on like gaming uh, specific keyboards. And macro customization is available too. Not all the keys on the keyboard, but majority of them, which is fine. So now let's talk about the accessories. So the pads and the keycaps. So the cool thing about the keycaps is they come in three different colors and they correspond to this sort of idea of, you know, the yellow being fries, the pink one being the frosting for like donuts, and then the blue one, minty ice cream sort of. So they're going for these theme that related to food. And then there's the gray one, which is the shark fin, which is not lit exactly sustainable, not exactly political, correct for a company to do but shark fin soup that's where they're referring to is referred to as like the luxury um, meal or like the dish that they served in Asia for like weddings and stuff like that so they're targeting the Asian market alongside having this you know very traditional North American um, food items so that they could span maybe a larger uh, target audience uh, so we have the pads which can be used as your wrist rest or can actually be used as a mouse pad you know if you like and if you can use it in that uh, format I mean it's very long doesn't have much wiggle room for the width so if you use a really high DPI mouse perhaps you could use it but uh, it's not exactly recommended it's mainly intended to be used for your wrist rest to be placed underneath the keyboard so the pad is very thick it's very flexible it's comfortable very nice detailed print on the here feels kind of nice and silky smooth doesn't produce any harsh sound and uh, from the week I've used it has uh, produced a zero irritation on my skin the only thing though it doesn't really smell that great they smell very rubbery like tires and uh, I've had these for a week now and they still smell but I'm told the smell sort of gradually rolls away with use and uh, let's hope that is the case
price wise they are $15 a piece which I would say is okay they do provide nice comfort and because of the keyboard because of how flat it is you probably want to position it further away from you so you have more forearm space on the desk and therefore this would complement the keyboard very well I do like the little easter eggs they've planted on the graphics on the pads so on the blue one we have a shark fin that's been bitten on the black one and the yellow one we have a fry that's been dipped in ketchup although it does look pink so I'm not exactly sure what's happening there and on the pink one we have have a bitten donut so now let's talk about the keycaps which are $35 per set with three colors available uh, so if you were to go for the whole suite over the pad the keycaps and the keyboard way you're looking at 210 US dollars which is a little steep but will give you that full unique cohesion between your peripherals I am a little bit disappointed with the keycaps because the edges are not exactly refined you can find some rough plastic uh, on some keycaps there's also this weird black smudges and black particles that are been scattered underneath the keycaps and i'm thinking that is because of the included keycap puller that is inside the same bag and maybe during you know during uh, motion it kind of chips away and like leaves residue all over it's just not something you want to find on a keycap because the color is vibrant so anything that is foreign in color uh, really sticks out and it's just not pleasant they are mx stem compatible so you could potentially use them on different keyboard of yours and they come in this full set that you can okay. select from and also additional keycaps are included in the set in case you are using a different layout keyboard for example there are different size space bars different enter keys and different alts the extra controls and all the keys that are associated with those changes and I appreciate all the color diversity so you can customize different pads with different keycaps and really make your setup unique now I wish there was a way for Myonix to include smaller selection and smaller sets of the keycaps so you can customize your keyboard in something like this uh, you know having different colors for all some of those accented keycaps but having the base in that standard gray the one thing to keep in mind with the keycaps is the transparency because uh, the LED on the switch is at the top and therefore it does not create that uniform illumination on the keycap itself. It looks fine in daylight when you don't see the illumination but during darker conditions it's just not that pretty. In terms of color matching between the pads and the keycaps it's not 100% but it's pretty close and it keeps within that same uh, color family so it's passable. Instead of the yellow toe I would have loved to see orange because orange with the teal blue and that uh, pink I think would have been a better combination if you're trying to combine all three than having yellow in there. So what do you guys think of this whole concept of getting a fresh desk with these uh, different color pads and the keycaps? Uh, the Myonix uh, Way keyboard is okay it's got nice basic format i think it's still a little bit little bit on the expensive side to be considered sort of competitive uh, because you can get very simple looking keyboards that are not gray that in the black format but still choose you know one of the keycaps from Ionix if you want to go that route and customize them with th those different pads my main point of feedback would be to increase the quality of those keycaps because it's a good product that would complement a high quality product like the way but uh it just doesn't fit in terms of having those edges not refined and having those black particles and having the transparency being an issue when it's illuminated from the bottom and I'm really excited for this to be on the market because now you can add a touch of color not through just RGB illumination alone but through these different peripherals like a mouse the pad or the keycap always stay charged with linky power up power banks housed in gorgeous aluminum enclosure with dual usb and type c port with support for quick charge 3.0 to get your devices recharged fast available up to 20,100 milliamp power capacities check them out in the description below so guys are you getting yourself a fresh desk let me know and also if you were to add one piece of food item on this whole theme to the pad what would it be let me know in the comments down below thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next video